Can our brains create something out of nothing? Is the human brain simply a functional, organic organ, or is it something more? Do our brains have more power than we realize? Can they affect the very fabric of reality itself? Can our brains create something out of nothing? Number three, there's no such thing as nothing. There are many ways to interpret the initial question, one of which is how to look at the concept of original thought and how it develops. Creative thinking could be said to be one of the defining aspects of human consciousness, since we rely on it to inform so much of what we humans do. We build our identity, we create art, and we invent things using our ability to think outside the box. Or do we? Everything mankind has ever achieved has been built on the work of others. Einstein couldn't have developed his famous mass-energy equivalence formula without the scientific discoveries which came before him. Georgia O'Keeffe couldn't have painted a bunch of pictures that look suspiciously like lady parts without studying at various art institutions. And Ed Sheeran couldn't have written the song Photograph without stealing most of its composition from that guy who won the uh, UK X Factor. Each person's achievements do not exist within a vacuum. They come as a result of humanity's collective efforts. And since these efforts took place on one planet, the Earth should get a fair bit of credit too. Every geological process, every life form, every natural phenomenon has worked to inform the thoughts we have and the thoughts we create today. Our brains don't create something from nothing. They create something from the things we experience. We may not be able to identify what was responsible for inspiring our creative thoughts, but that doesn't mean they came from a void. Based on this realization, could anyone really be said to be thinking outside the box? The box is our Earth. It is the Moon. It is everything we have ever seen and understood. However complex and beautiful our world is, we know there are far more intriguing forces out there in the universe. And even when we try to imagine things which we've never seen, we're doing so based on the experiences we've had here on Earth. So, as mankind begins to escape its home world, and we come to understand more about ideas such as consciousness and reality, I wonder where our creativity will take us then, when our box gets so much bigger. Number 2. Consciousness One minute your brain is functioning just fine, and you're an aware, conscious being. At this moment, there is something. The next minute, you're dead. Your brain has stopped working and now there is nothing. So is the brain responsible for creating consciousness or does the fundamental awareness present within all human beings come from somewhere else? How consciousness comes to exist from a bunch of ordinary matter is an astonishing mystery. No scientist has ever caught a brain red-handed creating consciousness. This doesn't mean that it doesn't only that we haven't observed a means for it to do so. But if we did, would this constitute our brain creating something from nothing? Technically, yes, if you consider our brains in the context of the development of life. Our brains may not be nothing, so to speak, but at some point they were. Because brains, and indeed life, have not always existed. We have no idea as to how life begins. But what we do know is that at some point on Earth, it did not exist. Then, suddenly, it did, eventually evolving into complex beings with brains. Within these brains, which came from nothing, consciousness seems to have developed. But how is this possible? How has this fatty lump of gray and white matter managed to create something so incredible as awareness? Why hasn't consciousness developed in another random assortment of matter like rocks, jello pudding, or, or hot sauce? Maybe it has, and we haven't detected it yet. Or maybe the brain is truly the only arrangement within which consciousness can form. If so, 
Are the brain's neurons and the signals they send entirely responsible for creating consciousness? Or is the brain merely a conduit? Does consciousness originate from somewhere else in the universe, with our simple brains acting as nothing more than a receiver, like a radio, but for thoughts? Number 1. The Universe some people think that the universe created consciousness since it was the explosion of the Big Bang which formed stars, planets, the conditions for life, and subsequently life itself. But others think we've got this the wrong way round. Some people believe that the universe did not create consciousness, but that consciousness created the universe and reality itself. This theory is based on a scientific observation made during the quantum double-slit experiment which proves that light and matter can display characteristics of both waves and particles. This tells us that quantum mechanical phenomena are probabilistic, i.e. they are uncertain in their outcomes. Furthermore, we know that many quantum events can be changed simply by observing them. If we conduct an experiment on the quantum level, the very fact that we're measuring something can fundamentally change what that thing is. From this, some researchers have subsequently concluded that conscious observations play a major role in determining the reality we see before us. In the 1920s, physicist Pasquale Jordan was quoted as saying, Observations not only disturb what has to be measured, they produce it. We compel a quantum particle to assume a definite position. We ourselves produce the results of measurements. Some scientists reject this interpretation, but others, such as biologist Robert Lanza, take the idea even further. Lanza believes the double-slit experiment proves that everything we experience, including matter, space, time, and physics, is part of a system created by our consciousness. For proof, he points to the fact that there are literally hundreds of variables within our universe which, if altered by a fraction, would have prevented life and consciousness from ever existing. But rather than accepting our existence as being mere chance and that only lucky life forms like us would be here to question reality in the first place, Lanza instead takes this Goldilocks universe of ours as evidence that the universe was created by us for us. This means that objective reality may not exist. Reality can change according to whether or not we view it. Therefore, our brains create something, the universe, from nothing. Alternatively, perhaps consciousness just appears to be creating something from nothing. As we said earlier, the concept of nothing doesn't really make sense. Even in a vacuum, there is always something. The Big Bang itself is theorized to have begun with an explosion of something. And in the universe created by this event, we have directly observed particles bursting in and out of existence for an apparent void. What seems more likely than human consciousness creating something from nothing is that we're capable of manipulating everything, even things we don't know are there. But only time will tell whether this assessment of the brain's potential is accurate. Either way, it seems we've vastly underestimated just what the human brain is capable of. And we're going to investigate this further in our bonus video, The Fascinating Truth of the Human Brain, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. 
In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.